Hello everyone. In this lecture we will see how to design Turing machine to reverse a string over alphabet sigma is equal to ab. First we will see the expected output with an example. Let us take the string w as abb which is placed on the input tape. On the left side and right side of the string we are having blank symbols. So we have to reverse this string ABB and the output should be reverse of it that is BBA. Idea is to create the copy of this string on the right of it but in reverse order. After that we will replace all the symbols of original string with blank symbols and in this way we will get the output as WR that is the reverse of string W. Now let us implement this Turing machine. First of all at state Q0 machine is reading the symbol A and we want to copy this string on the right side of it but in reverse order. First we will copy the last symbol then second last symbol then third last symbol which is also the first symbol in this string. So to copy the last symbol first the machine should first reach to this symbol and this responsibility is assigned to state Q0. So Q0 on reading A's and B's skip all the symbols in between and as soon as Q0 reads the blank symbol that is the capital B, Q0 will become aware that it has came one step further and Q0 on reading blank symbol takes the left turn and changes its state to Q1. Now Q1 points to the last symbol of the string which we want to copy and the copying is a new task that's why we change the state to Q1. Now Q1 on reading the last symbol small b will replace it with some new symbol let x which is used as a flag to indicate that this symbol is already copied and informs the machine when the machine returns to this symbol afterwards. Next there is one more problem to be resolved. Here. We are saying that we have copied the symbol B and replaced the symbol with X. But how the machine will remember that which symbol was copied that it should paste here. Because the symbol is no more visible, we have replaced it with X. Now the solution to this problem is by changing the state. Machine can remember by changing the state. If symbol A is copied the machine will change the state from Q1 to Q2. If the symbol B is copied, the machine will change the state from Q1 to Q3. Here B is copied so machine will change state from Q1 to Q3. Q3 will skip all the symbols in between to reach the blank symbol. Okay. In this we are already on blank symbol so Q3 will paste the copied symbol B here and after pasting it takes the left turn changes its state to Q4. The responsibility of Q4 is to move left skip all the symbols in between and search for the first X. Uh, ok Q4 is already on X in this situation. So as soon as Q4 reads the first X while moving the left, it skips that X, move towards the left, change its state to Q1. Now Q1 will start the next iteration. Q1 will copy the symbol B, replace it with X. Here symbol B is copied so machine will change its state from Q1 to Q3 and move towards the right. Q3 will skip all the symbols in between, reach the blank symbol. Q3 will paste the copied symbol B here. Takes the left turn and changes its state to Q4. The responsibility is Q of Q4 is to move left, skip all the symbols in between and search for X. Now as soon as the Q4 reads the first X while moving left, it skips that X, move towards left, change its state to Q1. Now it is the responsibility of Q1 to skip remaining X.
and move towards the left without changing the state. Now Q1 has reached to the next symbol to be copied. Now Q1 will start the next iteration. Q1 will copy the next symbol A, replace it with X. Notice point one point here. Here symbol A is copied. So the machine will change its state from Q1 to Q2. Q2 will skip all the symbols in between to reach the blank symbol. Move towards the right while skipping. Q2 will paste the copied symbol here. Take the left turn and changes its state to Q4. Now responsibility of Q4 is to move left, skip all the symbols in between and search for first X. As soon as the Q4 reads the first X while moving left, it skips that X, move to left and changes its state to Q1. Now it is the responsibility of state Q1 to skip remaining X and move towards left without changing the state. But this time there are no more symbols left to be copied. So Q1 will reach the blank symbol. Which means that the task of copy pasting the string in reverse is complete now. Now there is no need of these symbols X. We can make them blank symbols. This responsibility is assigned to state Q5. So Q1 on reading blank symbol will move towards the right, changes its state to Q5. Q5 will replace all the symbols X with blank symbols. Move towards the right without changing the state. And as soon as the machine with state Q5 reads the first symbol of the output, that is the reverse of the string W or we can say WR. The machine neither moves left nor moves right that is no move situation but changes its state to final state that is state Q6. Now the final state Q6 is pointing to the first symbol of the output string of this Turing machine. Now let us see the transition diagram for this Turing machine. Initially Q0 skips all A's and B's moves towards the right, reaches the blank symbol and on reading the blank symbol takes a left move, changes its state to Q1. Now if Q1 reads A, then it changes its state to Q2. Else if Q1 reads B, then it changes its state to Q3. In both the cases, the Q1 state copies the symbol by replacing it with X and moves towards right. Now, if, now the transitions for the state Q2 and Q3 are very similar. Both skips all the symbols in between whether it is X, A or B without changing the state and moves towards the right. And if they read the blank symbol, they paste the copied symbol there. Q2 pastes the symbol A and Q3 pastes the symbol B. Both Q2 and Q3 after pasting takes a left move and changes their state to Q4. Now responsibility of Q4 is to move left skipping all the A's and B's in between and search for the first X. On reading first X, Q4 changes its state to Q1 and takes left move. Now if it is the responsibility of state Q1 to take uh, or we can say to skip the remaining X moves left and search for the next symbol to be copied and repeat the iteration. But if there are no symbols left to be copied and we had already generated the output in that case Q1 will reach to blank symbol. Q1 on reading blank symbol moves towards the right changes, changes its state to Q5. Q5 state will convert all the X into blank symbols, moves towards the right and as soon as the state Q5 reaches the starting symbol of the output string which can be either A or B, 
the machine neither moves left nor moves right that is no move situation and changes its state to final state that is q6 now let us see the seven tuples for the turing machine to reverse a string over the alphabet a b we have seven states that is from q0 to q6 a and b are input input alphabets a b x and blank symbol are tape symbols delta transition function we have already discussed through our transition diagram q0 is the starting state capital B is the blank symbol and in the set of final states we have state Q6 so that's all in this lecture thank you for watching and if you like the video don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos like this thank you